Thank you for coming back to the Garage Gym. I'm Big Mike and this is the part of the video where you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and comment down below if you have anything to comment about so far. But you will because we are talking about the Yes For All anti-slip shoulder pad with barbell product that's currently available on Amazon.com for $220. Free shipping of course, but I got mine for an even better steal at 170 somewhat dollars. So this puts it to me at the very least, even at its current price of $220. Uh, it puts it at the absolute cheapest, best value budget safety squat bar on the market right now. And the reason that I'm not counting the cheaper safety squat bars out there that have like a three-piece design is because those suck. I had one uh, and I just didn't, I didn't like it. The bar had whip because it was too skinny uh, <laughs> and you really shouldn't have to experience that with this bar because you'll find that you can add quite a bit of weight and do so much more with this type of barbell. So uh, this is not scripted. This video is just gonna go as it goes. Uh, pretty much just making up everything I want to say as I go and no, I don't have any affiliate links I probably won't even list it in the description. Maybe I'll put it in the comments if you want to check this bar out for yourself But yeah, I'm basically just rambling on so we'll talk a little bit about uh, What this barbell actually is it's a safety squat bar the bar itself weighs 60 pounds and has a vinyl cover for the polyurethane foam with a 32 millimeter shaft and two inch Olympic sleeves. The anti-slip shoulder pad with barbell uh, title that it has on amazon.com is actually pretty good because that's what you would want to think about it as, right? A shoulder pad with the ability of still being a barbell. You can add weight to it and basically use it as a variation of the squat that Unfortunately, some of us just don't have the ability to do anymore because of either shoulder pain or wrist pain or, you know, loading pain, whatever it happens to be, this is a great tool to have in your gym. And for $220, it is extremely competitive because we're talking $300 for the Titan Fitness SSB. We're talking... Bells of Steel set like $320. Yeah, it comes with a lot of handles, but they're kind of like useless. The Rep Fitness Barbell, I haven't had a chance to use, but it, I hear it's the best. The biggest difference between that one and the rest of the competition, I think, is the availability of those neural handles and the coating on the actual bar itself. It's a little more durable, looks a little bit better. This one here is... If I didn't know any better, this is the Titan SSB just rebranded because I've had both and this, I, I would have a really hard time telling you what the difference is. It looks exactly the same. It feels exactly the same. Uh, it, again, it's emulating the uh, original Elite FTS uh, design that you can see back there. Uh, my Elite FTS bar is used, so the shoulder pad is a little bit... Uh, softer than this one here but i imagine that they're using just about the same amount uh or quality of foam and uh, i'll show you a little clip of what it looks like it is one piece it feels pretty good i've had 500 pounds loaded on this bar and it did sink a little bit but not a lot and it still felt comfortable enough to use and yeah it's a great barbell. I would recommend it, but yes, there is a but. As of right now, I haven't put a review on Amazon, so it's two out of two that the packaging has been just this horrendous nightmare. One of them came in with like super rusted sleeves and the other one was missing the handles. So packaging is a problem. And in my case, the UPS guy got here, the box was already tore apart. Luckily, 
uh, the handles were there. There was no rust on the bar. It looked brand spanking new, no scratches anywhere I could find. And it feels and works as intended. And like I said, if I didn't know any better, this is the Titan Fitness SSB. And that is regarded as one of the best SSBs and was the best SSB as far as value and product before the Rep Fitness one came out. So take that into consideration, but heed the warning that packaging is a huge problem right now, uh, at least from what the reviews are on Amazon. There's only two. So, you know, that's on you. <laughs> if you get one that's good and the packaging is not a problem, then I can guarantee it's a good bar, okay? Um, so, I don't know, for whatever that means, my 700 or so subscribers. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's, that's the bar. Uh, what would you use the safety squat bar for? Well, I think I mentioned a little bit about it before, but as a coach, I would recommend that you use it as a variation of the squat in order for you to minimize fatigue as you try to create more volume and frequency in your programming. The barbell squat is a really good exercise, but like I said, if you want to minimize fatigue that you build while using it in your shoulders, in your wrists, and uh, in your knees, and your uh, low back, then I would definitely recommend a safety squat bar, whether it be this one or you decide to pay double the price of this one for another one, uh, whatever it happens to be, I am a big advocate for the SSB because again, you can just hit a different variation of a squat and be able to make gains more frequently throughout the week without damaging your joints and creating more wear and tear than necessary. So I program it for most of my clients that have the availability of it. Uh, and of course, I have two of them in my garage gym. One of them I would probably move to one of the gyms that doesn't have one that I train at. And for a garage gym, I think it's the perfect uh, specialty bar to add in for versatility because uh, I'm sure most of us don't want to spend over a thousand dollars for another machine that's going to take up a lot of space and just be used for one thing. This can be used for, like I said, squats. It can be used for a, uh, a JM press. It can be used for hip thrusts. So yes, ladies, this bar is kind of made for you. I know you already bought your 10, 20, $30 pad on Amazon, but go ahead, return it get this bar instead because you can load it, you have the pad already, and it fits perfectly onto your legs, so you don't have to worry about too big of a deal on the setup. Uh, <laughs> it is a little bit awkward at first, but you'll get over it. So yeah, that is it. That is my big rant. And like I said, I didn't really have like a planned script or anything, I, don't, I never do. But if you'd like to know more or if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this type of video, leave it a like and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys at the next flex.